good evening and welcome to a special Thursday in the paint. Day two of the first financial Wabash Valley Classic was a thriller. Three of the four quarterfinal games very competitive. One went down to the final buzzer while another produced a huge upset. The fourth quarterfinal game had Terre Haute North against 3A number three Edgewood. Michael Dunnigan came to play. The North senior said, if you're going to leave me open, I'm going to make you pay. One, two, three, Patriots seven, nothing. Love the effort here by North senior came in Hayes, drives, misses, but stays with it for the tap in. Patriots 13-7 after a quarter. Time now for that Dunnigan kid. He was shooting three like Steph Curry. Bullseye. Terre Haute North thick and upset. They're up 33-22 at the half. Did I mention Dunnigan was shooting like Curry, Michael hit 6-3, scored a career high 26 points. Edgewood would make a run at North Patriots, only up two in the fourth. That's when the new guys started making plays. Aaron Topkins, bucket, Patriots 54-50. Then it was Wednesday's hero, Brayton Eddington with a layup. Terre Haute North bust up the brackets. They pull off the upset of the tourney so far. Terre Haute North wins 64-58. They had third-ranked Edgewood, their first loss of the season. I know that coming in, you know, reading all the reports and stuff, they were supposed to be the favorites of this team. I think, you know, getting a good team win and finally, you know, I think yesterday getting our first win, I think now we're just going to roll with it. Well, you know, we came in this tournament worried about us and we didn't worry about the opponents in the field. I've seen these kids practice like this on a daily basis and finally tonight, for the majority of the time, we came out there and put it together and beat a very fine Edgewood team. The third quarter final game had Terre Haute South and Robinson. Brayton Childers takes the contact from the defender, gets a little room and pulls the trigger. His three gives Robinson an 8-7 lead. Cordell Haynes says, I'll match your three. The Terre Haute South guard played really well, buries three of his 15. Chance Black had 20 for Robinson. He had a couple threes in a row in the second quarter to get the Maroons within two. End of the first half, Cody Decker plays beat the buzzer. His baseline jumper is good. South only up four at the half. Second half, Kenyon Schulte once again dominated. The Braves big man scores over the shorter defender. South knew who had the hot hand and they kept feeding Schulte. The big man is pretty agile and athletic. Schulte finished with 28 points, eight rebounds and seven blocks. Terre Haute South wins 61-52. The Braves like how they are playing. Yeah, we're really confident. We're uh, clicking right now on every defense, offense. We're all, we're all doing pretty good on everything right now. The guys are getting better. They're really working hard. Um, they're mentally uh, into the game, and, and they're fun to coach. Sullivan and South Vermillion had a thrilling quarterfinal. Sal V didn't have Sullivan's size. Jackson Shake took advantage with a couple early buckets inside. End of the first quarter, Bryce McLish goes off glass to beat the buzzer. This game tied at eight after one quarter. Third quarter, Sullivan making a big run. Kevin Fig collects the miss, gets the hoop and harm to give the Arrows their first lead since the first quarter. He had 16 points, eight rebounds. McLish had 18. He played very good for South Vermillion. A senior with the jumper. The Wildcats took a 38-33 lead to the fourth. Things looking really good for South V after the Cooper Terry tip in. Wildcats up 47-44 in the fourth. 11 seconds to go now. South Vermillion 51-50. They miss the free throw. Sullivan gets it to Caleb Thrasher. He knows one thing, take it to the hole. He throws it up and in. The ref calls a block on the bang bang play. The arrows will take it. They go up one. Thrasher hit the free throw to go up 53-51. Four seconds to go. Bryce Gilman couldn't get a good shot off at the buzzer. Sullivan rallies to win a thriller. 53-51, the arrows advance on to the final four thanks to Caleb Thrasher's game-winning three-point play with four seconds left in the game. I just threw it up. I didn't try to make it. <laughs> I was just trying to get the foul. How cool was it? I mean, you advanced your team on to the final four. Oh, that was really cool. I'm shaking still. That's the only way he knows how to play. And uh, he goes head on all the time in everything he does. And uh, so, and he, you know, he tacked the basket. And guy tried to cut him off. He hit the layup and hit the free throw. And that's, you know, that's the way he plays. That's who he is. The first quarterfinal game at this year's Classic had 2A 7th ranked Linton against Marshall. Miners star Lincoln Hell, man, he came to play. He couldn't miss. He had 14 in the first quarter, including this rare four-point play after he was fouled on the three ball. Hell helped Linton jump out to a 21-2 advantage after one quarter. Linton creates the turnover. Love the unselfish play by Tucker Hayes. Taps the ball to Silas Robbins for a Miners layup. 
Marshall with some nice passing. Jesse Burdick finds a cutting. Lance Reese. Lions trailed 43-18 at the half. Third quarter, Tucker Hayes. Three ball, corner pocket. It's good, Hayes with 14 points for the Miners. This Linton team has so many weapons, you can't just key on one guy. Evan Slover to the 10. Linton rolls 83-53. The Miners advance to the Final Four of the Classic for the third year in a row, thanks to 25 points from Lincoln Hill. I really want to get the MVP of this tournament, to be honest with you. Felt like we, we came out and established ourselves today. You know, we, we didn't have a letdown, which was a little bit scary. You know, you're playing at 1 o'clock. You just played probably the biggest game of the tournament so far. And, you know, we wanted to make sure we were right. We didn't even, we didn't even go in the gym watching any of the other games. We came here and got dressed and played.